all right what's up everybody it's your boy Jin here and in this video we're gonna be teaching you how to become a billionaire in the game PW evolve perfect world that is uh, this is on the evolve perfect world server I don't know if you remember perfect world international or what we call over here retail perfect world in that one it was super hard to make money doing any kind of farming over there basically if you didn't spend your real life cash you weren't making it anywhere and people would spend thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars and just to become like mediocre or, or you know uh, not even get to the very top well on this game it's totally free everything is farmable and everything that you can farm someone's gonna want it and gonna pay you some coins for it right so let's go ahead I'm gonna show you real quick the list I came up with and this is and this is 10 minutes of me coming up with ideas and suggestions and then we're gonna go over some of these and I'm gonna show you like where it's where it's uh, where you can get the items from and what you need to be able to farm some of these items and I also put this list into the description of the, the video so you can uh, click on the description check it out and if you have any more suggestions and stuff and which I know everybody does I'll put them down in there okay in the comments section all right so uh, one of the first things that uh, is really easy to make money off of is Sovereign Seals. If you don't know what Sovereign Seals is, I think there's a cash shop around here that has them that I can show you. But Sovereign Seals are from uh, the homestead. There you go. There's a Sovereign Seal right there. You see what he's selling for? Or she? Uh, 35 million coins, okay? And... The way you get them nowadays, um, here's a lovely wife doing some shopping by herself, <laughs> speaking of which, uh, but you get them from these sigils of night blooms. And so if you have, if you get past, so I think it's like level 90 on this server, uh, since they're currently working on the homesteads, uh, you used to have to do a homestead quest to be able to get the sigils of night bloom. But if, now if you're like level 90 and above, and I think you need to do the homestead uh, quest, You'll get a pop-up scroll and then you can just click that and you'll get two free. So if you get two per day on three tunes, let's just do the math on that real quick. Let's say three tunes times two would be six. And even if I, that 35 million might've been kind of high, I don't know. But I think the average price is 25 million. Boom, 150 million a day, a day, just for hopping in and clicking on your tunes. And then you will exchange the sigils of night blooms over here at 521.659. Right there. And it's a one for one trade. So, like I said, you get six per day. That's 150 mil per day. Okay. So, you know, times that by a, a month, what do you got? You got some billions right there just for coming in on your tune and clicking every day. That's it. All right, uh, next one on my list will be dragon mats, dragon orb mats. Okay, so let's go on the flyer. It's a little faster. There you go, dragon orb mats. All right, so there's different levels of them, 71, 70. Look how much they're selling each. And all you have to do to get these mats is just set your tune on auto culty, right? And get yourself a little macro, put it up there, and set it to... Uh, Auto culty. I've got a whole video on how to do macros, and then to find out which mats do you, which mobs drop which mats. On this server, it's really easy. You just click on the, the mob itself, and there's a treasure icon there. And then you look under where it says Lucky Box in blue. You'll see Glaze, Cyan, Jade, Underspring Water, Jade Juji, and the Jade Juji is the dragon mat. All right, and then you look at all those other um, possible mats you can have underneath it's real simple all you got to do like I said you just set up a macro and then you just click open and oh make sure that's set to click all items and then you go. and it will sit there I wouldn't suggest doing it for more than let's say six or seven hours to find out how much earning time you have right there 
So right there, I've got seven, almost eight hours of earning time. Once you run out of earning time, then you won't be able to get any more mats and stuff like that. And nobody's going to want you in their squad. Because if you touch or attack any mob or boss in there, nothing's going to drop. All right. So keep that in mind. All right. Let's go back. Let's see. While I'm waiting for the cooldown. Hey, guess what I can do? Heal myself. Oh, wait. What a horrible cleric guy. <laughs> All right, let's see. Next, you know, let's go ahead down to the next one list, which is molds for titles. Let me rephrase it. I don't know if these molds actually are used for titles, but I know there's a lot of titles out there, like the legendary titles, that do require molds. The legendary and the lunar, um, and I think that might be it, but uh, they do require molds, and look how much they're selling for. This guy's selling for 50 million each. So just by going to caves, picking up the molds and stuff, you, you don't know which ones. You have to get a list. I Once I get to do my legendary title quest video, then I'll let you know which molds drop uh, and which ones are valuable. But that's another way to do uh, to make money on this game. All right, so let's go to number four, which would be titles. It would be titles. You can sell just actual titles. I don't think there's an NPC that has them right now, or sorry, a cash shop that has uh, titles listed in right now, but I just saw some the other day, selling for 200 mil. And it's the easy ones, the weapon titles. That's really easy to make. You could sit there and do that within like, you know, 20, 30 minutes, not even 30 minutes, probably less than 20 minutes, and then get titles, sell those for a couple hundred mil each. All right. Another idea you can sell is raptures and cannies. Okay, so um, raptures and candies. People always need raptures and candies, and you can get the supply tokens. Those are here, supply tokens, and you can trade those in for raptures and candies. Let me show you real quick. All right. So here's the North Forges. There you go. So a one for one for raptures and then for cannies it's one for five so you can just farm um nation wars and like if you do both nation wars uh every week and you do two tunes per each and you get 1500 per, that's six thousand um supply tokens and so that's a lot of coins you could make off just that all right and that's just going in have some pvp pvp fun you don't have to be anything special i've been in there with my you know low level 60 tunes and stuff without any good gear and still made um, 1500 supply tokens all right let's go with number six or sorry number seven ice shards all right okay ice shards um, this shop's got them for 260,000 each and you can get them from the demon packs so and that's with event gold and right there demon packs and that's pretty easy to get I think it's don't quote me on this but I think it's like a 50% chance to get um, an ice shard per pack so if you had 10,000 uh, packs you'd get 5,000 ice shards I think don't quote me on that all right well that's really good money or you could save up to 50,000 uh, ice shards trade that in for a crown of madness and sell that for 50 and I think someone was trying to buy one for 65 gold the other day so uh, you can make definitely good money that'll take a long time to get though so just keep that in mind books 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 all right so we're talking about skill books here people are always buying skill books right and skill books they'll drop from um, you can do more I quest daily and get skill books you can get skill books from advanced endless universe uh, you can also get skill books um, from trading in was it old book pages fate pages and also other stuff and uh, some of the rare ones you get from AU, you can charge a lot for them because they, they're really hard to get. All right? And they sell for like 5 QB. So if they sell for 5 QB, you can even sell them for like half that and still make really good money off of it. All right? People are always need books. Oh, okay, Lunar Mats. Oh, God. Where did I just... I know I just saw someone here with Lunar Mats. There we go. Boom. Look how much these are selling for. 4 million, 4 million, 4 million. And guess what? People are always doing... Um, 
lunar runs, uh, lunar badge runs, like, and most of the people aren't picking those up. All right, so if you pick those up and then make your own shop sell them, you'll make some good money off of it. Seriously, just picking up stuff that people don't want. All right, so let's go to the next one, evolved epitomes. If you don't know what those are, you can get them right here at the Goblin Miner NPC. That's uh, coordinates five two nine six six three. Molten trades and boom, right there. Uh, evolved epitomes. All they do is just take basic badges. Literally, you can just go into any war song run that people are doing badge runs, uh, lunar runs. You don't have to be OP, of course, and you you can just sit back because they. A lot of people know that there's a lot of people to, who are just trying to get their armor and gear and stuff like that. And 25 badge. I, I can do just one two, and I can farm at least 100 in a day, no problem. And that's also made for making these tomes. But people need them, and they are selling for was it 350 mil to 400 mil, I think, per piece. Okay, that's it. 25 of those. Okay, so world quest items. All right, so if you come to this NPC over here, 531, 642 is the coordinates, and you look under quest related, here are the world quest titles. And they're basically level one through level 10, and you can get some good money for those. And you know what? You don't even have to do any fighting or anything. You just teleport to places and talk to NPCs. And some of those world quest maps, I just bought one the other day for a hundred mil. So that's just for one mat, and you can get like multiple mats per day. Let's see, there's a guy here. There's usually a guy over here that has world quest mats too. You see that one's only a level one, and he's selling for 10 million, level three for 30 million. You kind of see like, you know, what numbers you get for them and stuff. Uh, the, uh, the rarer the item it is, the more you're going to get for it. But I mean, that's a quick, easy way to make money. Mounts and flyers. So not... All these cash shops are going to have some uh, mounts and flyers and stuff. The tricky thing about mounts and flyers is if you get one that's like, let's say it's a flyer, but it's only for a certain class, well, you know, your chances of selling that are a lot uh, less likely. And so mounts are actually probably the preferred way to do it. Mounts you can get in UP, those ones are the rare ones, and the flyers you can get from base or, um, well there's a bunch of different places you can get the flyers, but you can sell those to make really good money too. Okay, let's go to number 13, which is refined sets. Okay, so uh, this used to happen all the time, I don't know why people don't do it that much anymore but you can advertise that you want to in world chat that you want to sell refined sets that means you get someone's piece of armor from level 1 to level 12 god I think they were only charging one QB which is on the server right now equals 200 mil so if you can get your dragon orbs real easy from I probably shouldn't be showing my bank account but uh, you can get your dragon orbs real easy from doing primal quest and like this is an alt and I still have a bunch of orbs so I can sell those every day and make some good money off them. A one QB, let's say if you sold three or four of those a day I and mean, you'll easily get a calm in 10 days, right? Alright, let's see, refine says now let's go to the next one, number 14, MOGs and GSTs. Okay, so I don't know if this is the better way to spend your EGs, but if you wanted to... There you go, Medals of Glories. Uh, you can pick one up for Tanny Vanko, and I think they sell for 180 million. General Summers tickets. I wouldn't buy these and sell these uh, from here because simply you can go to any JFSP squad and you can get seven of those from each squad or, uh, each time you run one of those. So, um, yeah, personally, I would not sell. Or buy them with event goal, but that's a really good way to get make money too. Uh, just general buying and selling. If you go to the commission shop, oops, and my wifey is so good at this, but she will go and look at each individual shop 
what is it? Escape? No, you don't want to press escape. Commission shop. Go to one. And then there should be a back button. No. Shop list, there we go. And then keep going through them all, checking out prices. Uh, make yourself a spreadsheet. I know she's got like a little spreadsheet on. Jeez, uh, come on now. Um, at her computer and she knows all the prices. So sometimes she, people will make mistakes and they'll actually sell something for a lot less than it should be. Well, you know, you pick up one of those and then you turn around selling your shot for the real price. You just instantly make money off that. And, you know, some people say, oh, that's not fair. That's not fair. You need to give it back to. Uh, it's not like you're taking food out of someone's mouth. All right. This is just game coins. And if they spent real money on it, yeah, that's sorry for them. But I, you can't be responsible for everybody's mistakes. You know what I'm saying? So that's general buying and selling. Buy low, sell high is actually what I should say. That was number 15. Number 16, star point items. Okay, so if you have enough star points, VIP points, you get access to the star point reward items. All right? Um, yeah, I guess I think the only real valuable one in here would be the flowing crystals um, I mean I guess you could do that the basic badges um, I wouldn't do that that's a lot of QB for him but anyways so that is number 16 star point items and number 17 is MM insignias so you're definitely not gonna have this on other servers but insignias are used for MM titles and let's see if I can get one. The one that says insignia. <laughs> so there you go. So just going to an MM run, that's a molten mines run. Look at this. This is good money if you're selling. And that's not even like the highest ones. The higher ones are like a couple hundred million each and stuff. So that's uh, another good way to make money and you can just go to mm like they have them all day long if you're looking in the world chat i mean you've got to have a decent tune to be in there it's got to be i would suggest at least rb2 100 and then rank nine times two at least to be in there but uh, you can be lower it's fine uh, it's just everybody else will have to carry you so all right that's number 17 mm insignias number 18 is a matchless into wings of ascension Oh god, I know I saw one of these earlier. There we go. So match the swings right here. You can pick them up fairly cheap. Like that one's 60 million. And then if you know how to do the um, AEU to turn them into what we have here is the Wings of Ascension, then you can sell them for way more. So if you use the 60 mil and plus about I think 15 mil in mats, you can sell them for like 400 mil I think on here don't quote me on that one but uh, so that's a good profit you just got to be able to do the AEU or world chat for people to help with the AEU or if you have a good faction have them help you out with that number 19 will be champion scrolls to helms stuff like that uh, it's not just the championship scrolls but every there's a new okay so these right here championship scrolls if you trade them into the elder of archers or you can get helmets out of them and uh, sell the helmets that's a lot easier for people to look at the helmets themselves and see the stats on them and uh, to be able to, to buy them or like the capes there's also these little capes that are like level 95 level 85 and stuff and so when people need them I know when I was doing my alt and I was trying to do without any help, I definitely needed those capes, but no one had them for sale. And I was trying to be stubborn and not pull them out of my uh, stash. These things. So these wing trophies and then these wing trophy lunar glades. Those you can trade them at the boutique for the capes. And you can showcase the capes. I mean, you do have to kind of be wary because one of them is, or some of them are going to sell more than the other ones or something like that. You might not get it to sell but uh, they're just ways to turn things into items that you can sell in your shops and if you just put your shops for free and you know some that that's nothing off your your top end your money now seals of war people are actually always buying seals of war um, usually they don't need them all the time but 
um, you can just change raptures and candies for them I think it is and you can get your seals of war and sell them and I know people are gonna need them and eh, maybe that's not a good one <laughs> okay so number 21 is rep reputation right everybody needs reputation and how do you get reputation you can trade these perfect tokens of luck into mats for reputation or you can change um, war song whatever they call war song not medals the war song emblems or something like that and you can trade them for rep there's also a whole bunch of different items you can trade for rep but uh basically you know you can charge like what is it two or three qb for uh 300 000 rep and that'll get you to rank triple nine or not rank triple nine, sorry rank nine all right and people are always buying those all right and opening packs for items i already did a video on which packs give you which items and stuff um but basically when you go to event gold go to packs uh, the best one to buy to get a bunch of mats is the deity scrolls the best ones to get for the com is the demon hunters and the best one for starting out and, and be able to get yourself rep very fast would be anniversary packs uh, but you can also sell i mean not sell but you open those packs and you get items out of there you get a whole bunch of items that you can just sell you know make billions out of that uh, I always wait till I get to at least 120 and then buy as much as I can let them open overnight selling fashion all oh, people there's this fact or this server is full of people who love fashion and so um, you can you can even sell the free ones that you get from the packs uh, I can't see them right here but um, people are always selling those someone's always gonna buy it eventually and so and then you know getting other types of fashion you can just open a shop and just do straight clothes and fashion the whole time fashion <laughs> not fashion jeez um, but that's another way and then my number 23 reason and this is the reason uh, I was trying to tell my faction how to make billions in a day and I was telling I wasn't bragging on how much I made but I was able to make nine billion over nine billion in one day and I'll show you real quick how I did that okay here we have it this is mm all right this is molten mines I can I put two tunes in here yeah I know you guys are like not gonna believe how much I get from it but Alright, so just from right there, that gave me 13. Alright, that's 13. That's 30 my, 39 million just from that right there. Just those little guys. And then you have this whole cave, right? You don't kill the first boss, but you go here, here, clean that out, come over here, go over here. There, 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 boom. And you get like 200 and I think it's like 215-ish, you know, give or take 10. Um, but you can get that in like, it takes me less than 30 minutes to do. And I can do two tunes at a time on different caves and, and do it. And so it really like, you can just really farm. Right now the prices are really good. I don't know how it's gonna be later, but farming caves, is always a good way to make uh, extra coin too you know and if you wanted to you could farm the bosses in here and get the uh, king's crown or the queen's crown and those sell for a lot all right but I, that's how i was able to farm three thousand of those dwarf fragments in one day and so when people say oh yeah the rich got richer well it's not that i'm doing anything that nobody can do like seriously i'll show you I'll show you now 
my it was my seeker that does the other farming it's my dust blade and my seeker and now he's got all attack two shards that's because I put him in there after um, I found out how fast I can farm with him and stuff uh, but I was doing it with just vite stones and all these so everything was just bite stones and he has full strength and you know that's the PVE gear with the weapon uh, sorry the PVP weapon but um, but you don't need a lot to farm that cave and you could have a tune that has lesser gear and just take a little bit more time but that's a very high profit cave all right and another way um, that you can farm real, real fast if you have multiple tunes multiple tunes that can do MM UDC because the more you can do MM UDC that's 20 what is it like 27 event goal per run and if you stack them up and then you do multiple runs in a day and, and let's say you have uh like I, i've got well let's say you have just three tunes right that's still 27 times three that's like 80 event goal per day and that's a lot of packs you can open all righty so i hope that helped you guys out and figuring out how much you can make and what you can do to make coins in game it's not that hard you just gotta like put in a little effort or you know let them farm stuff in the back end or have a shop open I mean it's I'll show you how to make up a shop real quick make up a shop put up a mat make sure you got your numbers right you can double check before you actually open it 10 million See, buy my mold. Done. That's it. Make up a shop. This is free. I can put in like how many options. I mean, I'll make a whole video on making shops one of these days. But that's all you need. All right. So I don't. I don't want to hear no more. Oh, uh, the rich get richer. No, the rich just went out and did stuff, and they watch my videos. <laughs> All right. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it wasn't too long. Uh, I'll try to edit out as much as I can, but if not, I'm sorry. And if you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, put them in the comment section. And please click like, subscribe, and share. All right. I'll see you guys back in game. Peace.